under-21 side has got an average age of just 18.1 years old. And that should tell you everything that you can't do when you're training every single day. So it's a great time for you to get your load in and increase your strength. So decent effort, it's dipping, but it isn't dipping enough from Camerson. Go right-footed, just onto the right-hand side. It's actually well defended from Manchester United as they force Spurs backwards. Scanlon to Camerson. Camerson with the shortish back pass. Me does really well to get off his line quickly. The United occasion didn't go, so we didn't go as a, as a collective. And then sometimes the second trigger is if they get over the halfway line, then you must press. You know, you can't keep stepping off. Oof, glancing header comes all the way back, turned home. Well, as it's drilled back across the box, it's really good movement by Will Lankshire in the penalty area. Just gets in front of his man, turns home and Spurs have the lead. Tottenham 1, Manchester United 0. No. Yeah, the two players we spoke about before the game, Jude soon sort bell Goal score for Spurs, number nine. Just Will turning Lankshire. the ball back in and Lankshire in the areas as a striker and it's a gift really, it's straight to his feet. He doesn't have to do much in terms of adjusting his feet. He just has to direct the ball that already has the pace on it. And as you see, Puts United 1-0 down, Spurs in the lead. It's a little bit unfortunate for, for Jack Kingdon as well. He, he does manage to get back to his feet and actually looks like he's going to be able to get the challenge in. It's just clever from Will Lankshire to turn the ball home in front of him before he gets it. Well, 15 minutes, Manchester United haven't done an awful lot wrong. It's been one moment for Spurs and they've taken the opportunity as it's come to them. You can see that that's why they are where they are in the table in a good good vein of form as they have been all season and you know when you've got somebody like Will Lankshire who's in the form that he's been in this year scoring you know the amount of goals he has he's not going to turn that one down so you know reframe it different challenge for the United boys now that's fallen to Ruben Curley. Curley's got ability from this distance to what a finish Ruben Curley a left foot extra set for the equaliser Astonishing! Just said, reframe it, different challenge, and immediately Ruben Curley took it upon himself to take the, the opportunity that comes his way, puts it out of his feet, he's got a good strike on him, and doesn't he show that? It's a superb strike, and the keeper, Luca Gunter, can get nowhere near it. Just back off him, he is dangerous with that left foot. We both mentioned it already in commentary. But that is uh, as good as it gets, picks his corner. Manchester United back level and look what it means to them. Finley McAllister, big hugs. Funny feeling he's back with the League Two champions. Here's the delivery. Whipped in, headed away by Oyadeli. Back in it goes, dangerous area. Turned home, offside flag is up. Manchester United push out really well, don't they? As soon as that ball clears, you know, Carey is onside. Camerson is onside, shouts all across the park here, Williams in the penalty area, does get the cross in, dangerous! Manchester United are in front, and it's a brilliant finish from Gabriel Biancheri. Cross whipped into the penalty area and tucked into the corner from Biancheri, 2-1. Really, really good play there from United. From See, the ball nine. comes Gabriel inside from Camerson, and you know, Ethan Williams demanding it. Great bit of individual skill, doesn't disappoint, and Biancheri in the middle, where you want your number nine to be. He's got a good, well, a tap-in, I suppose, but the work's been done by Ethan Williams, and that's exactly what you want as a number nine. Put it on a plate for me, and I'll put it in the back of the net. That's superb from Biancheri. He, uh, he just, it's just the smallest of movements away from Ashcroft at the back post, and he just sort of wriggles himself in front, and all of a sudden he's free, and it's the easiest finish that he'll have all season, but... It's easy because he's done the hard work to get himself into that. Really good as well from Finn McAllister, kept in brilliantly by Scanlon, does keep it in as well. Scanlon goes on the outside, lovely movement, gets the cross in. Nobody at the back post, but it's brilliant from Manchester United. Still not dealt with. Turned away again by Spurs, going to go behind for the corner. Good play from United, it starts from the hustle in the middle of the park. But great wing play then from Scanlon, and that's exactly what you want to do, just stand it up at the far post. Fortunately, Ethan Williams had taken the short position, but Sam Murray comes round, keeps it alive, turning down the opportunity to cross. We're not trying to overplay where we don't need to. Oh, that's a lovely ball through. Dangerous. Oh, it's hit the post, it's come away. While well, the ball into the... Santiago. 
Fired in, lifted over the top. Yago Santiago, big goalkeeping from Dermot Me. Comes back across, chip towards goal. Oh, it's a marvellous finish. It's absolutely glorious. Chip from the edge of the penalty area, and it's Jamie Donnelly to make it two apiece in fantastic fashion. Yeah, lovely finish from Jamie Donnelly. I think there's a, there's a lot going on in that box in front of him. Initially, Dermot Me comes out, makes a good challenge. There's a lot going on in front of him. It's the only finish he can do, in fairness. And he has to get it right. So a wedge. I think Dermot Me does really well. He comes out, he's strong. And Tyrese, but it falls to Tyrese Hall, who sees Jamie Donnelly. And that's a superb finish, it really is. Well, you can see why Dermot Me is frustrated there as well, because he's he is impeded by the fact that the player is down inside the penalty area. And he's coming out to say to the referee, if that player is down... What I don't want to do is drop too deep and keep inviting pressure on. Like that, that's great play there from Scanlon. And brilliantly, and he's got Biancheri up with him as well. And Manchester United are in behind, what can he do with it here? Gets it across to Biancheri. Biancheri with the effort, big save from Gunter. Turned behind, corner. Does ever so well, does ever so well there, Scanlon. Because if you look at Casanova, his, his body shape, just here, his body shape's good, he's blocking the pass. But he manages to put the disguise on it. He waits for him. Biancari takes it and create themselves a chance. And you can see now here, they're pressing high. There you go, and they win it again. And it's Biancari in the penalty area with the effort. And again, it's Gunter that makes the big save. Manchester United could easily find themselves 3-2 up before the break if either of those opportunities go in. Yeah, Biancari's got to put one of them away. He'll be really disappointed. The United two apiece with Spurs just before the break comes cross field referee watches it out of play not sure we're going to get too much longer we're not the whistle goes for half time and down the tunnel they go after an entertaining oh, first half so first goal came from will Langshit. lovely nine, 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 finish from close two. range after soon set belt you know doing it down both flanks in the second half and getting the, getting the ball in the box in good areas and i think defensively just have to remain or stay focused um a, a major tackle and I'm not talking about a foul, I'm talking about a, a full-blooded tackle. Yeah, a chance here for United. That's a go from distance, Ethan Williams just pushes his shot wide. Yeah, he has every right there, Ethan Williams, it falls nicely. He finds himself onside, first touch is nice, and yeah, he has every right, just helps everybody get up the field. Spurs, though, coming the other way. Met by Donnelly. What an effort that is on the left foot of Jamie Donnelly, bending towards goal. Dermot me unsure where it was going, ends up wide. I think as the ball's coming to Donnelly, the first thing that came into my mind was he's a technician. You know, he's chip that he scored in the first half, so you know he's, you know, he's going to... Back though by Ruben Curley, Bian Carey. Now carrying the ball into the penalty area, finds Williams, Williams... Thinks about having a go, drags his toe across it. Can have another go, and it's squeezed home, is it? No, all the way across the goal line, and somehow it stayed out, and I do not know how. It's great endeavour there from Ethan Williams. Even him, he's looking in bemusement as to how that stayed out. The first one's blocked, but he's onto it like a flash. He gets it off Sam Murray, he takes charge, and he just hits the post. The, it? Hits the pole. A fistful of Will Langshire. That's what you call no change. Well, that's a lovely ball in and a real opportunity hit towards the goal. Big block again from Manchester United. Yeah, that's what United got to be careful of. We we have possession of the ball, we give it away, and all of a sudden it's Santiago. He tries a little dink in United have given the ball away quite cheaply. Oh, it's given away as well. Chance here again. James Scanlon with the effort. Scanlon directly at the goalkeeper. Well. That's been Spurs' problem, haven't they? They've gone from the edge of the Manchester United penalty area all the way back to the goalkeeper, giving it away and very nearly give James Scanlon the opportunity to make it 3-2. Yeah. Ruben Curley takes his time, cuts it back. Nolan edge of the penalty area. Has a go. He's always heading wide, I think. Yeah, well, I don't quite manage to get the, the power behind it, as you see. Always trying to generate it and... Spurs high flying. Full time whistle goes, and those four goals from the first half remain the only four goals in the game. Manchester United come away from top of the four table, five, Spurs, five, five, with a point. Five, Ruben one, Curley two, and uh, Gabriel Biancheri with the two Manchester United goals.
Spurs with Lancashire and Donnelly. But the second half performance from Manchester United was one of control and industry, and it has carried them to a point. A young Manchester United side on the road at Stevenage against Tottenham Hotspur have drawn two apiece.